Hello. Um, I got a, an inbox over on Instagram from one of my followers, and he wanted me to give my take on this. Five things that women don't want men to know, okay? There is a disclaimer that says, I know all women aren't like this. There are some unicorns out there, but these things apply to the majority of women. Now, I'm going to be pulling up these five things that supposedly us women don't want men to know and giving my take on it and my opinion about it. All right. The first thing that we have as far as the five things that women don't want men to know is they monkey branch. All righty. It says they monkey branch relationships, meaning after so long, they'll get tired of you and dump you. But before they dump you, they make sure they have someone ready to take your place. They could have just met this person or they could have already been talking to this person while you two were together. But this is a common thing that they do. Oh, Lord. And you know what, brothers? I am not going to even lie or hold you up. Monkey branching is absolutely something that a lot of women do. And I think that we do this because we want to make sure that we have somebody there to soften the blow uh, of the breakup, right? Um, when things are not going the way that we want them to go or we're no longer satisfied or happy or whatever the case is, you know, we could very well have somebody else that we're scoping out or that we're checking out that we feel could fill whatever void that we're missing within our current relationship. So this is something that, you know, a lot of women do. Um, as a matter of fact, a lot of the times uh, when things are not going so good in a relationship when it comes to women, and again, there's exceptions. This is not all of us. Come on, come on, you guys. We got to be real. It's not all of us. But for the majority of us, I'm not going to lie, like we could very well have somebody that um, we are interested in that we view as kind of like that good guy friend. And we're telling him all of, you know, what's going on in our relationship, especially when the relationship is going sour, right? Uh, a lot of women have that guy friend that they confide in and, and he knows everything, right? He knows all about uh, what our man is doing, what he's not doing, uh, what he's lacking, what we would like and desire for him. And, and, and he knows all the ins and outs and the intimate details of the relationship. And before you know it, that man is able to swoop in and uh, be the next man. Right. Because by that time, he already has a, a good understanding or a good idea of what that woman is looking for, what her triggers are, um, what satisfies her, so on and so forth. And so we since we already had so much um, invested into that man, as far as maybe telling him, you know, our most intimate secrets or, you know, just the details of what, what we're going through. Like we, we've already established that connection with him to where we're already comfortable with him. And so now it's just like, well, um, I feel like you would be the next best thing. So why not just go ahead and get into a relationship with you? So this could 
come in the form of that male friend that that chick told you not to worry about fellas you know a lot of times you probably do need to worry about him because he has a better understanding of your woman than you do because she's going to be telling him things that maybe she's not even comfortable enough telling you and so this is how that whole monkey branch situation could be established even without her trying to establish it you know, she is there, right? Because I have this guy friend, quote unquote, that I've been confiding in and that I've been, you know, opening up to and expressing my my feelings to, my concerns to, my thoughts to, to the point to where it's like, well, why not get in a relationship with him? He knows all about me. He knows what I'm looking for, you know? And so that's how that monkey branch situation could happen a lot of the times when it comes to women. You know, whereas when it comes to men, you guys really don't do a lot of monkey branch. I don't believe like when a guy is going through a breakup or he's not happy with his current situation or relationship, he's more likely to just like be single for a while, live the bachelor life, you know, maybe date around, you know, and, and, and just explore, you know, life and live life. Whereas a lot of women, like, again, we're looking for somebody to kind of ease the pain and soften the blow. And so that's why we would be more likely to be monkey branchers. All right. All right. Next. Okay. The next thing on the list, as far as the five things that women don't want men to know is they keep their options open, okay? It says it doesn't matter if they're single, in a relationship, or married. And it doesn't matter how good, I believe it's supposed to say, their current relationship is going. They're always on the lookout for the better deal. Now, as a married woman, I personally don't agree with this whatsoever, Um this would apply more so to the women where they're not being fulfilled or they're not happy in their relationship. Um, if the woman is happy or she's content and she's satisfied with the man, she's not going to be out with her head on the swivel. You know, it, it, this would apply more so to, you know, once again, if a woman is unhappy in her current situation or if she's like a serial hypergamous type of individual to where she's like always looking for, okay, how can I upgrade? How can I uh, outdo my current situation? Those type of females, sure. But to say that the majority of women are like this, I would have to disagree. You know, to say it doesn't matter if she's married or how good the relationship is, she's always looking for the better deal. No, that's not entirely true at all. You know, like I said, this only applies to the females that are just uh, the gold digger, uh, super hypergamous, um, level up chicks, or she's just completely not happy in her relationship. And now she's, you know, on the lookout. All right. So that one, I did not entirely agree with, but it can apply to a specific type of woman. All right. The next thing on our list out of the five things that women don't want men to know is, let's see what this one says. It says women date more people than guys do. Hmm, interesting. It says they cheat just as much, if not more than guys, and they have sex more than guys on average. Okay, let's continue. Um, this is because dating is easier for them than it is for guys. We have to do all the work. All they have to do is exist and be pretty. And they will have guys trying to cultivate a relationship with them. All the woman has to do is choose which one or ones she wants to give that chance to. And with the cheating thing, the side dude is more likely to keep his mouth shut than a man side chick because he wants to keep having sex with the woman in the relationship. Whereas the side chick wants to be known and wants to be the only one. So she has a hidden agenda to break the man 
and his actual girlfriend or wife up so she can take her place. This is loaded. Okay. Um, <laughs> now, it says women date more people than guys do. I could agree with that. And the reason why I could agree with that is because, uh, like you said, like women, we don't, men don't have so many rules and standards when it comes to us. You know, all they really qualify for us is to be attractive and um, be pleasant to be around. And it's like, okay, well, I can see where this can go. Whereas women, you know, when it comes to, you know, choosing men and stuff like that, like we're, we're scoping out, not only is he attractive, but how much money does he have? You know, how tall is he? What does he do for a living? Like we're looking at all these different things, uh, as far as what qualifies a man for us to date, which would weed a lot of men out if they're not hitting on you know, a majority of the things that we're looking for. Whereas men, it's just like, okay, is she attractive? And is she cool? Then let's give it a go. You know, a lot, not a lot of men would be able to check off the box of, okay, he makes this amount of money or he is this height or he looks this particular way. Like, no. And so by that, uh, in and of itself, it would, you know, eliminate a lot of men from, you know, having a lot of, uh, women that they are dating. It then says that uh, women cheat just as much, if not more than guys, and they have more sex than guys on average. Um, again, I would not disagree with that either. Um, and the reason why is because once again, like women have a lot of men throwing themselves at them. And I, can I be honest with you guys? Like, it, the woman doesn't even have to be all of that attractive, you know? Um, yeah, so it, that could be a thing to where, you know, we may have more opportunities uh, for sex and to cheat and things of that sort. And we could possibly get away with those things more as far as cheating and stuff like that because of the the male and the female um, nature, right? In this, it says that um, as far as the cheating thing is concerned, uh, men, they, they want to continue to have that interaction with the woman. You know, they don't really care about being the main guy or being you know, in a committed relationship with the girl. It's just like, look, we having a good time. We kicking it. And, you know, we get to have a little bit of a boing session in the meantime, in between time. Whereas women, it's like, you know, we want to be the main chick. Like, we feel like us being the side chick is a temporary thing, you know? And so we're more likely to be more vocal about the man cheating or, the man being with us or creeping around with us, whereas the man will be more on the hush hush with it, which would lead to more women getting away with cheating because uh, men are not blasting her. You know, men are not out there, you know, putting on front street that, Hey, she's sleeping with me on the side. And Hey, you know, I'm the one that she's with when she's not with her main chick or her main guy or whatever the case is. And so, yeah, we, we will be more likely to get away with cheating than men because of female nature wanting to be in the spotlight and wanting to be, you know, the one that is being chose. Um, us having more sex again, I would say we have more opportunities for sex than men. Now, are we taking up those offers? You know, that's neither here nor there. Like, we don't know. But uh, I would say that we have more opportunities to have sex uh, than men do. Just because I feel like men are just more visual creatures than we are, maybe. Right. And so like they, they'll have sex. They'll want to have sex with a woman just because her ass is fat or because, you know, she has a nice rack. Whereas women, you know. 
we're looking for other things. Again, we're looking for how tall is he though? And uh, how much money does he has? And, and, and how cute is he? And you know, this, that, and third, you know? And so it, it, men will probably be, again, weeded out way more as far as, you know, being propositioned or, you know, approached with sex than women because, you know, women just have more standards. You know, if that makes any sense. Y'all let me know if y'all agree with that. Let me know if you follow me with that. But I feel like that is why, you know, men could have it in their minds that w women are having more sex than them because, you know, the, men are easier as far as sex is concerned. You know what I mean? It's just like, well, you know, I'm just trying to see what that mouth is like. You know, I'm trying to see what that ass is like. And, you know, and so men are, you know, throwing themselves. Like, it's not a, a big deal for men to to have sex and so by default it's like well since men are are just you know trying to see what that mouth do for the majority of the part okay not all of y'all okay some of y'all some of y'all got standards like nah i need more depth to my woman but you know let's just be real you guys we live in a day and age where you know men are just like very sexual and very visual creatures and it's just like well she's a female she has a vagina and so i'm gonna push up on it and see if I can get it. And by and because of that, you know, women have more opportunities to have sex than men. And again, you know, as far as us having more sex, that could be a thing. I don't know, but I would say we have more opportunities. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. I hope y'all are able to understand what I'm trying to say. If you don't, let's just, let's just move on. The next thing on our list, you guys, as far as the five things that women don't want men to know is, let me see. Women get bored faster than men when it comes to relationships. Uh, in a relationship, a man's desire for the woman gradually decreases over time, while the woman's desire for the man tanks. This is why women initiate 70% of all divorces. So... Uh... I cannot entirely disagree with this either. And, and the reason why is because I feel that we live in a society where women, we just have this over romanticized idea of what, you know, a good man is and what a good healthy relationship is and, you know, what that entails and what that looks like. And, and we're comparing you know, our relationships to what we see on TV, what we see on social media, you know, what, all of these different things, right? And, and it could have it in our minds that if our relationship is not measuring up to whatever this unrealistic idea or standard of a relationship is, you know, then it, it's a boring relationship or it's a dead end relationship or it's not a good relationship. You know, and, and so because we are comparing our relationships to, you know, what we see on TV and social media and cartoons and all this other bullshit, you know, we can really have it in our minds like, you know, well, since my, my man is not rolling out the red carpet and spreading out, you know, the rose petals and flying me out to Paris and all of this, then, you know, it, it, I'm not happy, you know, and this relationship is not a good relationship and I probably need to leave, right? which would lead more women to becoming bored because, you know, again, she's not feeling like her relationship is measuring up to what she's seeing, right? Whereas men, I feel like men are more simple. Like they, you, they just need a little bit of head in a sandwich and, you know, somebody to be quiet when the, when the game is on and somebody to be supportive and loving and understanding. Like, they, they're very simple. Whereas women, it's like, well, I want that type of love to where, you know, my man is flying me out and my man is whining and dining me and my man is spoiling me. And if you're not doing that, then I'm not happy and I'm not 
satisfied and I'm bored and I need to find somebody else or I need to find something that does look like that, you know? And, and so that could lead to a lot of women saying, you know what? I want to go, you know, uh, you're not being my Prince Charming and you're not doing what I want you to do or what I think a relationship is supposed to be like. And so I got to go. So I wouldn't entirely disagree with the fact that women probably do get bored faster in relationships than men do. Moving on to the next thing out of the five things that women don't want men to know is, oh, most women look at men as utilities instead of human beings. They think of us as things that they can use. If you can't do anything for her, you're worthless to her. Oh, well, this has to do with female nature, right? Um, and in female nature, like it's very much so to do with um, having a provider, having a protector, having stability and security. And, you know, and so by default, we're looking for men that can offer those things to us. Um, however, I, I don't like the fact that a lot of us can uh, view men like they're subhuman or like they're just machines or robots that we can just use up to our benefit and then discard of them, you know, whenever we feel like, you know, again, we're bored or, you know, they're just not doing what we feel they should be doing for us at that time. Um, and, and that's my dilemma with that, you know, within female nature, you know, again, and that's just what it is, fellas, like women are looking for men that are useful, you know, just like you guys look for women that are useful. Um, however, the thing that I don't like, and I'm going to be honest about this, a lot of women can, we can't have it in our minds that, you know, men don't have their own feelings, they don't have their own minds, they don't have their own lives, and it's just all about you know, what a man can do for us and anything outside of what he can do for us is pointless. And so that's the issue that I take with it. But I'm going to be honest, fellas, like we are looking for men that we can utilize that are useful, you know what I mean? And so if you are not able to provide for her or protect her or give her st stability and security, she can view you like, you know, you're worthless and you're nothing and she has no need for you because essentially she doesn't. You're not doing anything for her. Um, but again, my issue is just viewing men like they are just objects to be used. Like, no, uh, a real woman should understand that a, a man needs to be able to utilize and use her back. You know, it's supposed to be a sense of reciprocation going on there. You know, it's, it's not all about what the man, uh, is able to do for you, but also what you're able to do for that man as well. But yeah, I, I will be honest and say that a, a lot of females feel like, you know, you're just a utility and outside of that, you're nothing. And that's something that's women we need to work on. Yeah. All right. So let me see, make sure I got all of the things. All right. Did I get everything? Oh, we have a bonus. Okay. So in addition to the five things that women don't want men to know, they have a bonus one here that says this bonus. They like toxicity. If you're unproblematic, they don't want you because then they won't have anything to complain about. They need the man they're involved with to be problematic so he can be the scapegoat and so she can be the victim when things end. They will never accept being the one in the wrong. That's why they choose bad boys over the good guy. Mm. Again, disclaimer. Not all women are like this, we know. However, that it, it is something to that, to where you have women that, 
you know, that they are looking for the guy that has problems because they they need something to fix. It, it, it helps to stroke our ego when we are able to say, well, I, I reformed him or I refined him or, you know, I'm the reason why he became the, the great man that you see today. So that's an element of it, too. It's not just so he can be the scapegoat. Right. And, and I can have somebody to point the blame at when things don't go right. It's also so I can have somebody to fix and I can stroke my ego and say, well, I fixed him. You know, and that's why they will choose the guy that is probably in shambles, that needs a lot of work so that they can work on them and they can have a passion project, if you will. Also, when it comes to the guys that do have it together, you know, the, the quote unquote good guys or whatever, you know, sometimes they could expose a lot of the flaws that women have because, you know, he has it all together. And so by him having it all together and, you know, he's not problematic and he's not toxic and, you know, he's, he's a healthy human being. He's a healthy individual. It kind of exposes the work that I'm not doing on myself. And so that could be a reason why um, you will find women that are seeking out you know, those problematic guys, because, you know, she's able to not only be able to point the finger and have a passion project to work on, but I'm also able to kind of camouflage and, and hide the, the work that I'm not doing on myself because he will always be the one that is worse off than me, you know? And, and I've seen, uh, I've seen women actually pass up the guy that had together because again, like they were intimidated by him being so put together and him not having so much baggage or just problem and chaos that he deals with. And so by him not having that, it kind of sh shined this light on her and all of her problems. And, and that could cause women to want to steer clear of, you know, those quote unquote good guys or those unproblematic guys as, as well. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this quick, dope discussion. Do you agree with this list that uh, one of my followers over on Instagram, I, I believe his name was Stan. Uh, do you do you agree with the five things that women don't want men to know? Like, you know, did you feel like it was accurate? Do you feel like it was like, uh, no, not quite. Y'all let me know. All right. Uh, did you agree with what I had to elaborate? You know, did you agree with what my sentiments were? Did you disagree? Let us know. All right. And if you're a woman, y'all especially let me know if these are some things that we do that maybe we don't want, you know, the everyday average Joe to know about, you know, or if you feel like it's just complete BS, let me know that too. You know, but everybody is welcome to chime in. I want to hear from both the men and women. Do you agree or disagree with this list of five things that women don't want men to know? All right. Y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next dope discussion. Peace. Much love. I'll see y'all later. Tanika Marie, we are out.